Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. I'm Painting Hyun. Today I will paint this beautiful flower vase. One of my students bought it for me. Thanks, Nina Jun! I'm gonna use wet on wet technique on the background and flowers. Then, wet on dry for flower vase. I already have a finished sketch on watercolor paper with 2H pencil. Next, starting with wet the paper background and flower area with big wash brush. I will share with you how to create the glass base and stems in the water. This technique is a little difficult. However, we can try it. I will teach you step by step, okay? The mixture of indigo, ultramarine, and bright violet. Apply the background and shadow of the base on the table and wall. Get some little bit darker uh, bright violet and ultramarine deep apply on the uh, shadow of the wall this is the base uh, flower base shadow This is paper still wet, so I'm using wet on wet technique. Brushy uh, stroke move on the paper gently and uh, very lightly. Get some clean water, dilute the colors. Next is splash with orange and the mixture of orange and bright violet. This is for looking nature after painting. Okay, clean the palette. I don't want to make a dirty color, so we need to use a cleaned brush and clean the palette. So clean palette and brush it very often. Pick up some orange, draw tulips with watery orange. This is a first layer for flower. Change brush, it will use a smaller brush and pick up the orange and adding on tulip. This is the second layer. Draw some lines on the petals. Inside of the tulip, darker than outside. Just to use the uh, brush, tip of the brush, because this paper is still wet. So move your brush stroke quick and use the thick and 
a uh, strong color. And next, uh, another flower with the paper a little bit and then take some bright bio red put on the flower area just to, uh, use the kind of a dot next move on to eucalyptus so sap green mix, viridian and little bit of ultramarine deep throw some eucalyptus very gently bright violet mix ultramarine deep draw some purple flowers here and there this is first layer and then I will after dry uh, pick up some more dark color put on the flowers move on to base paint a, a glass base is difficult however to draw step by step okay uh, take some watery green blue, greenish blue, draw the glass and very gently. This is the first layer. Take some, uh, take some green and blue, draw some lines. Draw some line, uh, that line is water. Pick up some more bluish green. and have to leave some negative space on the glass the highlight area throw some stems throw the stems in the water with on dry technique for the stems to look naturally in the middle of the water we need that area of negative space for the water. Stems in the water are not continuous lines, then they are destroyed a bit, right? I'm using a wet on dry technique for uh, stems. Take a bit of burnt sienna into stems. Clean the brush and take some uh, sap green. Draw some circle around the stems. It will be made look like a water surface.
draw some lines, uh, class H. But uh, not too dark color. This is the final touchy flowers. Just to touch flowers a uh, little bit thicker and strong color here and there. I'm using bright violet mix uh, ultramarine deep. Put on the uh, flower, center of the uh, flower area. This area color is too dark, so I take out some color with a clean brush and some part adding some little bit dark uh, purple colors on the flower. Change the brush. We need to create the shining part of the glass base. I'm going to use a synthetic brush and paper towel. I want to rub the paper gently with a brush and then blot with a paper towel lightly. Today's painting all done. See you next time. Bye!